In Greek mythology, Iris is the personification of the rainbow and messenger of the gods. She is also known as one of the goddesses of the sea and the sky. Iris links the gods to humanity. She travels with the speed of wind from one end of the world to the other, and into the depths of the sea and the underworld. In classical literature, according to Hesiod's Theogony, Iris is the daughter of Thaumas and the cloud nymph Electra. Her sisters are Ark and the Harpies, Aello, Kileno, and Osipete. Iris is frequently mentioned as a divine messenger in the Iliad which is attributed to Homer, but does not appear in his Odyssey, where Hermes fills that role. Like Hermes, Iris carries a caduceus or winged staff. By command of Zeus, the king of the gods, she carries an ewer of water from the river Styx, with which she puts to sleep all who perjure themselves. According to Apollonius Rhodius, Iris turned back the Argonauts' seats in Calais who had pursued the Harpies to the Strodfades. The brothers had driven off the monsters from their torment of the prophet Phineas, but did not kill them upon the request of Iris, who promised that Phineas would not be bothered by the Harpies again. Iris is married to Zephyrus, who is the god of the west wind. Their son is Pathos. According to the Dionysiaca of Nonos, Iris' brother is Hytaspes. In Euripides' play Heracles, Iris appears alongside Lyssa, cursing Heracles with the fit of madness in which he kills his three sons and his wife Megara. In some records she is a sorrel twin to the Titanus Ark, who flew out of the company of Olympian gods to join the Titans as their messenger goddess during the Titanomachy, making the two sisters enemy messenger goddesses. Iris was said to have golden wings, whereas Ark had iridescent ones. She is also said to travel on the rainbow while carrying messages from the gods to mortals. During the Titan War, Zeus tore Ark's iridescent wings from her and gave them as a gift to the Nereid Thetis at her wedding, who in turn gave them to her son, Achilles, who wore them on his feet. Achilles was sometimes known as Potarx. Potarxes was also the original name of Priam, king of Troy. Iris also appears several times in Virgil's Aeneid, usually as an agent of Juno. In Book 4, Juno dispatches her to pluck a lock of hair from the head of Queen Dido, that she may die and enter Hades. In Book 5, Iris, having taken on the form of a Trojan woman, stirs up the other Trojan mothers to set fire to four of Aeneas' ships in order to prevent them from leaving Sicily. Equals epithets equals, Iris had numerous poetic titles and epithets, including Chrysopteron, Podizake or Podonemosake, Rosida, and Thormentras or Thormantos. Under the epithet Alalopus she was described as swift-footed like a storm wind. She also watered the clouds with her pitcher, obtaining the water from the sea. Representation Iris is represented either as a rainbow, or as a young maiden with wings on her shoulders. As a goddess, Iris is associated with communication, messages, the rainbow and new endeavors. Derivations Equals in language equals the word iridescence is derived in part from the name of this goddess. The adjective for a rainbow is iridal. Arco iris, and arco iris are the words for rainbow in Spanish and Portuguese, respectively, where arco means bow in English. The iris of the eye is named after her, to reflect the many colors of the eye. Equals namesake equals, the asteroid 7 iris. The element iridium. Iris, the hormone irisin. Equals artwork equals, in 1946, Iris was depicted on a 50 franc ml stamp in France. This was accompanied the same year by a 40 franc ml stamp depicting a centaur shooting an arrow into the sky. Equals fictional adaptations equals, Iris appears as a character in William Shakespeare's play The Tempest. Iris appears in the Disney movie Fantasia at the end of the segment featuring the Pastoral Symphony by Beethoven. Iris is a character used in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians and Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. Iris appears in Ransom by Australian author David Malfe. Iris is the main character in Iris the Colourful by Joan Halob. See also, Iris. Notes. References. Grimal, Pierre, The Dictionary of Classical Mythology, 1996. ISBN 978 0 631 20102 1
Iris Pages 237 Euro 238, Pira Copyright, Eve, Iris. 2009. In a Dictionary of Shakespeare's Classical Mythology, ed. Eve Pira Copyright HTTP, www.shakmyth.org 129 Iris, Smith, William. Dictionary of Greek and Roman Biography and Mythology, London. Iris. External links, Iris from Thoi.com, Heside, The Homeric Hymns, and Homerica by Heside, The Iliad by Homer, The Argonautica, by C. 3rd century BC Apollonius Rhodius.